hi welcome to my youtube channel and today i will be showing you how you can link your ps4 or your ps5 to your macbook or your pc really really simple like a lot of people have the same complaints how they can do this it's really really easy and i will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can make this happen as you can see my ps5 interface is directly on my macbook screen this is made possible via remote play Remote play is a function where you can actually use internet connection with your if your MacBook or whatever uh, your PS5 is on the same internet connection, or you could be far away from home and still play maybe on your phone or on your PC with your PS5 connected at home via the internet. You need serious 5G network connection for this to happen or a strong 4G connection. It doesn't have to be 5G. If it's 4G and it is strong, this is 100% possible. It's really easy. A lot of people have, uh, you know, they're trying to find a way they, they to play their games on, you know, without moving their PS5 around. This is what is required. 5G internet speed or 4G strong internet speed. And obviously you need your PS5 to be plugged in at home it has to be plugged in and maybe be on rest mode. There has to be power supply in the PS5. And also, you have to have fast internet connection. So you can do this from outside your house, wherever you are around the world. So I'm going to show you step by step. And the first step is to install it on your MacBook. Let's go. So I'm going to show you how you can use your MacBook Pro or PC for remote play for PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. In my case, it's a PlayStation 5. And this is a MacBook Pro. I'm gonna show you how to set, set that up, how to get the app, how to go about everything and whatnot. So on the PlayStation website here, yeah, you can see here, I'm gonna put the link in my description. So you can just, it brings you straight to this page. So you're gonna click install ps remote play right it brings you straight up here install the remote play app for your pc or mac then you can now click here to download the remote play app as you can see it brings it brings you to this page where you have the download right here right Already, I already have the app on my laptop, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you how it works. So you click download, you select your your preferred uh, your system. It could be a Windows PC, a Mac, or an Android TV. You can also get it on Google Play, or on the App Store, whatever. But let's make it easier for yourself. Click Mac, right? It brings you here. It tells you all the need, all the details, and all that. Then you click download. After you click download, it downloads into the into your your Mac, and then it, it, you come here. One minute. Then you find this app. It takes to in, in the download. It brings it to down. It brings the file to the download download folder or download folder. Yes, please. Exactly. So you see right here, remote play installer, you double click, it opens it up, and then it does all its uh, English and everything. You do all the necessary installation, continue, blah, 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 blah. You do all that, and then you have the app, which I have here already, as you can see. So I'll click this for you to see the app, how it looks. It looks exactly like this. You send it to your PSN, your PS network. Then that is how you get the app onto your PC or your tablet or whatever. Now, after that is done, once you've installed the app into the system, your MacBook or your PC or your phone or your tablet, you need to pair a PS5 DualSense controller to your Mac to that device you're playing it with. It's very simple you just hold the share you hold the share button down and at the same time hold the ps button down until it starts flashing when it starts flashing like this 
that's when you can now pair the controller to your device, whichever device you're using, the MacBook, PC, tab, phone, whatever. You pair it up and that's it. You like This is the, the same step to pair it up. You have to go to your Bluetooth settings. For In this case, I'm using the MacBook Pro. You go down to DualSense controller. You click connect. As long as the lights are flashing on the controller, it connects instantly. And that's it. It's connected. That's all you need to do. Now, bear in mind, when you do this, you may have to repair it back to your PS5 for, a PS, for it to work with the PS5. So I recommend you having one separate controller for this. The blue lights are on. That means it's connected. So here, once the app is installed on your MacBook, as you can see, there is... Uh, the, the, my PS5 is there, it's on rest mode, it's on standby mode, it's not powered on, it's not on. All this can be, only be done on one network in your house or if you're outside the house, you need a fast network like I said. Now the PS5 is on rest mode, that's the app on my screen. If you see the TV screen, no signal. Now the app on my MacBook Pro is open. Now I'm going to connect I'm going to click this for it to connect my PS5 to the MacBook Pro. Here we go. This is after installing the app. Now, look. Immediately, it detects the PS5 comes on on its own automatically via remote play connection. It's, here we go. It's on my screen. On the MacBook Pro and on my TV screen. The exact same thing, as you can see, is connected via, I'm connected via remote play. So the next thing is to just show you how to play probably you can just start playing your game. You can start gaming on your device. Right? It's not that hard. Trust me, it's not that hard. I'm gonna play some games and show you real quick. I'm gonna okay before I do let me just just to be sure I turn off my TV and you would see everything I'm doing is being done with my the, with the controller, the dual sense controller that was paired to the MacBook Pro. Nothing is on happening on the TV. TV is off. So I'll show you. Here we go. I paired this one. It's working perfectly. Like I said, fast internet connection. Let's try out this Spider-Man game and see and uh, uh, see how fluid the frame rates are. Really, really, it's really high. Like all these banks, I can't, <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough. Fast internet connection. This can also be done on your tab, on your phone. Uh, if you're outside the house, if you're not at home, as long as your PS5 is on or on safe mode, on sorry, on rest mode, you can play games online without being in the house. Fast internet connection is what's required and you have to have internet connection at your house and where you're at, right? So I'm starting up the Spider-Man game on my MacBook Pro. Beautiful, easy. No, no stress, nothing is as easy as ABC. I'm gonna do a little gameplay here just so that we can, everybody can actually, you can verify what I'm doing is real. It's not, I'm not, I'm not using any connection or HDMI or whatever. The cords to my laptop are just my chargers and my hard drive. That's it. Here we go. And the game is in motion. That's it. Nothing, no much, work stress about it is really really simple the frame rate is clear everything moves fine and if you have a laggy network this will be laggy but like i said you need fast internet connection for this to work perfectly i'm doing everything on my macbook pro the ps5 is on but it's projecting via the internet on my macbook pro and it's fluid i can't emphasize like i said fast internet connection that is what you need for this to work perfectly as you can see it's no magic it works fine recently the the, PS, the playstation launched a, a remote play controller because people find this thing kind of difficult to do so they launched a, a device that you can actually use effortlessly anywhere you are just link it with your ps5 and that's it on the app once you download the app it's uh you log in with your psn network id and everything and you're good that's all this is about so if you like this video give it a thumbs up you could you could equally um i'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to actually get the app thank you for watching my video like i said easy peasy fast connection and you are good 
Thank you for watching my videos. See you on the next one. Peace.